from uh, talking with Ruth Kagan Gell, married name now, and Ruth, lovely to hear the news that you're now taking over as a Manx language officer from Adrian, who is just around the corner, isn't he? He's doing his teaching, I believe, still, but he loves all that. So, you know, tell us about it. What's happened? Yeah, it's, it's great to join the team here as a Manx language development officer at Culture Bannon, and it's really exciting to be part of such a dynamic and enthusiastic and hard work and creative team. So, yeah, I'm really, really pleased to be, and um, yeah, just to join the join the team here. I mean, I've, I've been following for years and Lorient, of course, and you go on that stage. I mean, you, you're going to keep your music going, are you? And this is... I think there'll be some room to be able to do that, you know, bits of weekend gigs and things like that. Of course, of, of course, with COVID at the moment, oh, um, yeah. performance isn't really happening as much off island, obviously. Mm. Um, but uh, it very much ties into what I do because I sing in Manx as well. So it's... Um, you know, it's promoting the language through, through that performance side as well. Okay, so you're taking over, so you're going to have some ideas, some things that you want to pursue. Give us some you know, ideas, what you can do. Well, there's lots of projects that are simmering away. Um, in my mind, they're kind of at the initial planning stages of not long being in the role. Um, I started at the very, very end of September and I'm part-time at the moment while I'm working out the commitments. Um, but hoping to be able to launch a few of these ideas in 2021. Um, I will be um, on a sort of small scale idea. In December, I'll be running some courses or some workshops looking at Manx Gaelic Christmas songs, which will be kind of drop in events, things like that, to just kind of reach out um, to some wide audiences and say, come on in if you want to learn how to sing Silent Night in Manx, and you can come and find out here and, and give people you know, a little bit of a different kind of way into the language through yeah. through song as well. But obviously things that aren't music related as well, um, working on different courses with other Gilgare and other Manx speakers and different classes and developing those. Um, but really, you know, kind of everything hopefully kicking off when I'm full time in January, mm -hmm. you know, really going. Forward. And November's a big time anyway, there's a the big event coming up, isn't it? Yes, there's the Koosh Festival, Koosh which will be help happening um, very mid-November, so the dates are the 12th to the 14th of November. And um, some of the highlights will include an e-bingo, which is a bingo night, <laughs> on Friday the 13th. Um, lucky for some, hopefully. And um, that will be great. That's run by Enkrenyacht and um, a really nice family event for everyone to get involved. And a really kind of chilled out, um, no pressure environment as well. So, you know, come in and play bingo in Manx, but there'll be lots of things to help you along with mm. the numbers and things like that as well. So really good. And then on the 14th, which is a Saturday, there'll be a Kush as Cavern event which um basically is kind of to have a bit of a kind of coffee afternoon coffee morning have a bit of an opportunity to go and speak manx with other people um and you know different kind of stalls to find out about different mm -hmm. manx um organizations manx language organizations here such a key part i guess of your job is to inspire people and to bring new people in to potential of learning the language is it and and, and making it interesting and exciting and that's yeah I mean. absolutely I think it's it's all about encouraging and inspiring and enthusing others and letting them know that you know it doesn't have to be this big scary thing to learn a new language and that's something Adrian was excellent and is still excellent at doing as well um, and being very very enthusiastic and encouraging to new learners and that's very much my philosophy I just want to carry on you know hopefully you know, keeping everyone inspired and, um, you know, getting new people into the language, but also celebrating those who are very learned and very good Gilgaren and very good speakers. Um, and just letting everyone know that it's a really open community and people can learn Manx at any point, whether they've just moved over to the Isle of Man today or they've been here all their lives and they've just started to think, oh, it might be quite nice to learn a bit of Manx. You've been great enthusiasm, so congratulations. I'm sure Thank you're you. going to have a great Good time on this. Thank you very much, Paul. Good night.